Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see 4-bit binary adder and subtractor. A binary adder can be used as a subtractor also. So basically, we need to understand full adder first, how the binary addition will be. In the previous video, we have seen half adder and full adder. You can go and watch that video if you have not understood the full adder functionality. This full adder is very much required to understand the higher bit adders. So before going to the 4 bit binary addition, let us understand how the decimal addition is going to be done. So we need to start adding these two numbers AB 4256 adding with 8765 starting with this position. First we are going to add these two 6 plus 5 is 11 where we are going to take this as sum and one as carry. So then we are going to add these three. So again 5 plus 1 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. So we are going to write 2 here and again I am going to take carry here. This is how we are going to add these decimal numbers. And now in this position 7 plus 3 is 10 and again carry we are, we are going to take over here. 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. We are going to write in this way. Now this is the complete result of this addition. Similarly, the binary addition is also will be started with this position first. If you are going to add 1 plus 1, if you are going to add 1 plus 1, if it is decimal, we are going to get 2. This 2 will be represented as 1 0 in binary. So we are going to write 0 here and we are going to take 1 as carry to the next bit. Now we need to add these 3 bits. First I am going to add these 2. This 1 plus 0 is 1, again 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 again, I am writing 0 and this is the carry taken forward. Again 1 plus 1 is 0 and carry 1. So here it is 0 and this is carry 1. Again 1 plus 1 we have 0 and carry 1. Now here we are going to treat this as sum output and here the extra bit we are going to get it as a carry bit. This is how the binary addition is going to be done. So here, as we know, to do this, we require one full adder. To do this, we require one more full adder. Similarly, for this, we require one more full adder. And also for this, we require one more full adder. So four full adders are required here to make a four bit addition. Now, a four bit parallel adder, we are also calling it as ripple carry adder, is that we will be having a four bit input A and also a four bit input B. For this, we are going to get a 4 bit sum and 1 bit carry. So, A0, A1, A2, A3 are corresponds to A and corresponds to B, we will be having B3, B2, B1, B0. Suppose if we have any carry initially, we can treat that as C0 and once we add these 3 bits, sum is going to be written over here. If any carry generated, we are going to take c1 over here. Similarly, it continues. So, if you look at the structure of this ripple carry adder or 4 bit parallel adder, it look like this. This is what a0, b0, a1, b1, a2, b2, a3, b3 are going to be taken into full adders. Here we are going to get the sum s3, s2, s1, s0 from the full adders. Here the carry is generated from one full adder to the next full adder, next full adder to the next full adder and from this to the next full adder. That's why it is named as a ripple carry adder. Now we can take any value of A and B and we can add by using this circuit. This is about a ripple carry adder. Now by using this ripple carry adder or 4 bit parallel adder, we can also have a modified circuit of this which will behave as a subtractor. You can see the difference between these two circuits. The only thing is that we are changing the way of giving B and C0. When we are giving the inverted version of B with C0 is equal to 1, that gives the subtractor circuit. How the logic will be? We need to understand. So if we are doing A minus B, it is nothing but we are doing A plus of minus B. If we are able to generate minus B, then it is just an addition with the other number A. 
to get minus b in binary, we will be having a complement form. So by taking b number and we are writing its two's complement of this, so then it becomes minus b. How to take two's complement? Suppose if you have 1 1, we need to convert this into two's complement form. What we need to do? First we need to take 1's complement of this, that is 0 0. Then we need to add 1 for this, so it becomes 0 1. So the 2's complement of 1 1 is 0 1. That is what we are doing here. To make it as a minus b, we are taking b and generating its complement. So taking 2's complement of b is the thing here we are doing. We are just using inverters in place of b value and we are giving that to the full address. To add this 1, we are going to have c naught is equal to 1. By using this circuit, we can do subtraction of 4 bits. Now we will be having a modified version of the previous circuit again which behaves as adder and subtractor without modification in the gates. In the previous circuit we have an extra NOT gates for B input. Now in this circuit we will be having XOR gates at the input of B. Through XOR gate we are going to send B to the full adders. And how this circuit behaves as adder and subtractor means if this C0 is 0, this circuit behaves as a adder. If the C0 is 1, this circuit behaves as subtractor. Now let us understand how this circuit behaves as adder first. In this XR gate, if you are passing B0 with this C0 and the condition is that to make it as a adder, we need to have C0 is equal to 0. Means adder in the sense, here we are, not, we are supposed to get A0 as it is and B0 as it is without taking any two's complement of this bit. So for that, this XR gate should pass the value B0 as it is. So first let us look at the truth table of XR gate 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For this, we will be getting 0, 1, 1, 0 as output. If one of the input is 0 for the XR gate, it will be passing the other value as it is. Means 0, 1 will be passed as 0, 1. The same logic applies here. If this C0 is equal to 0, the B0 whatever we have will be passed to the input as it is without any modification. So here also in B1 will be passed as it is to the full adder. Similarly, B2 will be passed, B3 will be passed when this C0 is 0. In such case, these full adders will be behave as adders and the circuit behaves as a 4-bit adder. What happens when this C0 is equal to 1? When this C0 is equal to 1, you can see here, when C0 is 1, you can see the other input what we have that will be inverted. Means by providing C0 is equal to 1, we are inverting this B0 and here we are going to get it as B0 bar. Similarly, here we are giving C0 is equal to 1 and B1 will be converted into B1 bar. Similarly here B2 bar, here B3 bar. So if we are generating the complement of this and anyhow giving C0 is equal to 1, this makes B as 2's complement value. So this 2's complement value added with A that behaves as a subtractor. So the circuit will be subtracting A and B and the result will be the subtracted output. This is how this 4 bit adder can also be used as subtractor by only changing this C0 as from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 to make it as adder and subtractor. In the next video, let us see carry lookahead adder that is having more advantages compared to ripple carry adder. Thank you.